गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू ऑल ऑफ यू वेलकम इन द ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड दिस इज द इम्पॉर्टेंट इयर सो टेक इट सीरियसली एंड डोंट गो टू शाइनिंग डू युअर वर्क सीरियसली प्रॉपरली क्लैरिफाई द ईच एंड एवरी कंसेप्ट सो फर्स्ट चैप्टर रिप्रोडक्शन इन ऑर्गेनिजम वॉट इज रिप्रोडक्शन माई फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन द प्रोसेस बाय विच the new organism forms from the parents organism that is called the reproduction process and this reproduction process is of two types asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction in asexual reproduction there is no role of gametes just like male gametes female gametes and in sexual reproduction there is role of gametes just like sperm eggs fusion fertilization this occurs in the sexual reproduction and now we can see the example of asexual reproduction Take the example of spirogyra. How the reproduction takes place in spirogyra? Spirogyra fragmented. Its its body cuts into many pieces and each piece converted into new spirogyra. How we can say this reproduction in amoeba? This reproduction in amoeba takes place by binary fission. Amoeba divides into two parts and each parts divides in each parts forms into new amoeba. Then in hydra, small bird forms and that. bird is converted into new organisms or new hydra that bird cuts and forms into new organisms and then the next we have to see the sponge in sponge that is gemmule formation takes place and in that gemmule formation the reproduction takes place now these are the different methods of asexual reproduction now the vegetative reproduction how the vegetative reproduction takes place in different organism just like in potato i part that forms the new plant and in the ri ginger rhizome part that forms the new plant and in uh, the onion or agave bulbil part that bulbil parts forms into new new organisms or new new plant and in the water hyacinth offset is the part that forms the new organism in this very reproduction takes place vegetatively now after that we have to see the monoecious plant and dioecious plant what is monoecious plant the plant which have both the stamen and pistil both male and female part that is called what monoecious plant just like cucurbits and coconut and what is the dioecious plant the plant which have the separate staminate and pistillates both male part and female part separate the example of this plant is papaya and date palm papaya and date palm these are the example then we have to see the difference between bisexual animal and unisexual animal bisexual animals means these animals have both the male part and female part just like tapeworm roundworm leech these are the animals which have both the male organ and female organ they are called bisexual animal and unisexual animals means only sexual part male sexual part or female sexual part present separately that is the example of the human being then what is parthenogenesis here the female gametes not fertilize with the male gamete and directly converts into the offspring and the new or organism form that is called parthenogenesis phenomena which are the example of this parthenogenesis phenomena honey bee rotifer some lizard and one bird that is turkey that are the example of the parthenogenesis process then after that we have to see the how the plants are classified into three types just like annual plants then biennial plants and perennial plants annual plants means their life cycle completed only in one year that is called annual plants just like paddy wheat and sunflower and the plants which requires two years for their life cycle just like vegetative growth in one year and the next year second year that seed development and flower development takes place that is called biennial plant just like radish cabbage beetroot these are the example biennial plants then the third example we have to see the perennial plants but actually first what is perennial plants many years requires for their development and this perennial plants many years requires for their vegetative growth but they are also divided into two type monocarpic and polycarpic monocarpic means flowering occurs in certain in few times in the life cycle or one time in the life cycle that is called monocarpic just like uh, example agave and strobil and the scunthiana that is also called nilkurunji this plant occurs in the kerala tamil nadu and karnataka part and then 
polycarpic flowers which are the example of polycarpic flowers means flowering occurs many times in their life cycle just like mango apple jackfruit coconut these are the example of polycarpic both are what monocarpic polycarpic both are under perennial plants now we have to see the next the difference between seasonal breeders and continuous breeders seasonal breeders means such type of uh, animals which breeds only in particular season they are called seasonal breeders and continuous breeders means they can breed throughout the year they are called continuous breeders just like human being and also we see the animals also two types bisexual and unisexual huh? bisexual animals we have seen just like tapeworm roundworm and unisexual human being and we have seen this continuous breeders and seasonal breeders also all of you got the difference between continuous breeder and seasonal breeders particular season breeding occurs seasonal breeders and throughout the year continuous breeder then we have to see the gametes and their types what is the gamete that is the part which fuses and forms the new organism but these gametes are also two types when the gametes their shape size similar what is that called iso gamete iso means similar gamete and the example of this is one algae cladopora the, the this algae produces the similar gametes which algae cladopora but one algae produces dissimilar gametes fucus algae that is the example of heterogametes our human being sperm eggs how they are they are dissimilar this is also the example of heterogametes in human being now after that we have to see how the medium of gamete transfer is different in seed plants and other plants like algae bryophytes and pteridophytes in seed bearing plants which is the medium of fertilization pollination pollen tube formation in this way the male gamete and female gamete fuses but in algae bryophytes pteridophytes water is the medium of fertilization after that we have to see the difference between internal fertilization and external fertilization the fertilization which takes place outside the body male male organism and female organism produces the gametes and releases outside the body and that fertilizes in the water or outside medium outside the body that is called external fertilization this is the example of this is the bony fishes and the frog and internal fertilization means that takes place inside the body whatever the fusion of the male gamete and female gamete that takes place inside the body just like fungi higher animals like higher animals like reptiles birds mammals and majority of the plants bryophytes pteridophytes gymnosperm angiosperm that belongs to internal fertilization then we have to see oviparous and viviparous animals oviparous means which gives the eggs outside the body and that eggs outer covering calcareous hard covering just like birds reptiles they gives the eggs they are oviparous but viviparous just like maximum mammals human beings they are the viviparous they directly gives birth to the young ones so they are called viviparous but some mammals are uh, oviparous also they gives eggs only some exception two three just like echinoidea duck bill platypus these are the eggs laying mammals but maximum mammals are how viviparous mammals then we have to see the seed plants how the result of fertilization how the fruit form how the seed form and how the embryo form how the embryo form embryo is form from the zygote seed is form from the ovule and fruit is form from the ovary in this way the fertilization takes place in the higher plants and in all this chapter we have seen the sexual reproduction and their events so clearly see the events of sexual reproduction pre fertilization events fertilization events and post fertilization event in pre fertilization we events we have to see what in pre fertilization event formation of gametes gametogenesis process and gamete transfer that is the pre fertilization event and in fertilization events what happens there is fusion of the gametes syngamy and in post fertilization events what happens embryo or the development of the embryo or embryogenesis that occurs in the third phase that is post fertilization events thank you